Hi there, I wanted to show you this really neat little program that I found online. It's free, open source, it's called Style to Paints, and it's a program for taking black and white 2D artwork or photos and colorizing them using the power of an algorithm. It's very simple to use, you don't have to have any art experience, and all it takes is a few clicks, And but it's also a very powerful tool. So anyways, if you'll follow me, the first thing you'll need is you'll need a black and white image to work with. I decided to go with the coloring book image, since that's what this is supposed to be for, coloring. I chose... A low quality JPEG. I left it right off the internet. I intentionally went with something that was suboptimal just to kind of show how good this tool is just for how a regular person would use it. So the first thing you're going to do when you upload it is it's going to ask you to select the area that you're going to be coloring. So just, you know, select whatever you're going to be doing in there. Once you have the area squared out, you can hit OK and it'll start loading it up and the algorithm is going to start uh, doing its thing. Now I know this doesn't look very impressive so far, but trust me, don't close that video just yet because what you're going to do is if you look at the very top of the screen, there's a row of three icons. Click the one on the left, the one that looks like a little grid, and there we go. Now you've got yourself a picture. Now again, this is with zero fiddling on my part. This is just the pure, raw, uh, procedural generated coloration. Now, if you're wondering why the entire left side of the screen is dedicated to a bunch of anime girls staring at you, that's actually going to be your palette selector there. So if you click on one of those portraits, it will change the colors of the picture to match that portrait. So feel free to click around and experiment and find one that you like. Now that was fun, but this is where the real power of the program comes in. You can actually choose the colors that you want to use and tell the AI where you want them and it will try its best to fill them in for you. If you're willing to put some time in with it, you can get some really impressive results, but for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to keep it simple. So if you look at the right hand side of the screen there, you'll notice that there is a selection of colors, mostly skin tones, uh, but also some other basic colors. And at the upper right hand corner, you have a color wheel, so you can select your own colors. If you look at the very bottom of the screen, you have uh, five colors custom color slots you can put things in to keep it and if you ever decide you want to reuse one of the colors that I gave you there is an eyedropper tool that comes built in with it just hold down the alt key and click and it will draw whatever color you're over so when you've decided on a color that you want to start coloring in I'm going to start with the background here since it's mostly blank uh, you're just going to click on the spot for it there we go and once you've clicked on it just hit the little magic wand button in the lower right hand corner and it will recalibrate the picture based on your input now I'm going to speed through most of my fiddling with it. Uh, the only real major things that you need to know from this point on are you can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out on the picture if you need to do finer uh, selections. You can right click and drag to move the image around when you're zoomed in. If you make an error, you can hit Ctrl Z to undo it. And as I mentioned earlier, all brings up the little eyedropper selection. Of course, I'll be including a link to the English language documentation in the video description, so if you want to get more in depth, you can uh, read from there. But like I said earlier, this is mostly just an introduction to help people learn about this really neat little tool. Now, one last feature before we finish is that this actually has a rudimentary lighting function built into it. So if you look at that row of icons in the very top of the screen, the one on the right-hand side is a light bulb. From there, you can choose the direction of the lighting using those uh, directional light bulbs in the middle of there. The one at the top controls the color of the light, and you can even choose the intensity below it. So if you feel like giving it some tasteful lens flare or whatever, you do you. So now that we're finished, it's time for us to export this image. If you look at the lower right hand side of the screen there, right next to the button that you click to upload it is a download button. So we're just going to move over there and click on that and that will take you to the finished product. Now don't worry, this blank screen is completely normal. This is a web app, so it's just doing its thinking. It's going to open up a new tab for you. This is going to have several different versions of your image you can go through. So go through them. There's like a painterly one. There's a very deep fried one. Uh, there's a little sort of minimalistic fake artwork one. Go through and find one you like. Also at the bottom is going to be your source image and that line of text beneath it is actually all the different input that you put into there saved so you can actually share that with other people. Again, check the video description for the documentation and it'll explain how to do that more in depth. So once you found one that you like, just right click on the image and save it wherever you prefer to and there you go. You have your fully colored image ready for posting. And one last thing, this is free and open source software, so be sure to show the creator some support however you can. I'll include links to their stuff in the description. Thanks for watching.